There's Melly. You know where to go to get the sunshine, don't you? You got dust all over you and you got a leaf on your head. What are you going to do about that? Yeah, such a good girl. Where's Telly? Where's Telly? You're silly. You're so silly. Where to go? Alright guys, before we get into the video, the following pictures uh, are what the room that I am renovating now looked like when I bought the cabin, and I, I can't find any of, you, you can go back and watch some of my recent videos and see what it looked like just a few days ago, but it was nasty when I bought the place. It used to be a bedroom. When I bought it, I added on to the bathroom, made that room smaller, uh, and made it a laundry room and it's been a laundry room for like the last eight years and i'm just going to show you those pictures you can see the changes that it has went through and then you're going to watch the video see what it's starting to look like today there you go Welcome to the channel. In just a few minutes here, I'm going to get started putting some paint on these walls. Now, I went to the hardware store this morning to buy the tin for the roof. They didn't have it. So now I'm going to have to go to Oklahoma and pick that up. They don't have it in eight, eight foot sections and um, they only have it in 12s. So I'm not buying it in 12s and having waste. Uh, I know what I need. They don't have it. So what we're going to do is paint. And then I'm going to go to the floor, get those two things done, but probably not all in this video, probably just do mostly painting. Uh, then I'll go get, get, go to Oklahoma or somewhere, Fort Smith and get the tool, get the uh, tin for the roof because it'd be a lot cheaper. That stuff went up dramatically in price. Uh, I'd probably rethink it you know, had I known that, but if you do the math it doesn't matter what i buy i mean yeah sheetrock would be cheaper i don't want to fight with that stuff i don't want to do sheetrock i don't want to mess with that at all i want to do what i originally planned to do and you'll see in the end result that it was the right choice all right so yesterday i got the rest of the walls up got it back in there all the way around got this whole wall finished now this is the only piece come out terrible, but it ain't going to matter because it's going to have the door trim here. Uh, I wasn't going to cut a full piece for a little pieces, so I pieced it in. I attempted to caulk the seams and the caulk blew out the bottom of the caulk gun. So I bought, picked up another two, but I'm going to go ahead and paint it and see what it fills in. Then I'll caulk it, let it dry overnight, and then I'll come and touch it up over it. So there's no sense in caulking if, if paint's going to fill it in. So, we're going to get started over here in the corner where we had that pipe. I kind of built this little funky box. <laughs> It'll work. You know, looks better than that pipe sticking out. And of course, you see me do that. We got this part finished. So, what we're going to do now is get some paint going. Shouldn't take me too long to paint this whole room. Uh, let's just see what I picked up. Here we go. Alrighty, righty, righty, let me roll it. Get it all daubed up. Come on, roll and roll. Roll and roll. There we go. Man. Got 
get some paint on there. Being stubborn. There we go. Alright, y'all ready for this? Here we go. Daring Red. It's gonna dry it darker. Look at that. We got some color in the house. I can probably tell right now it's gonna take two coats to cover this stuff up. Yes, sir. I was gonna go with a darker, more like a maroon. I didn't want it too dark. But I can't stand white. I don't care. I do not like white walls anywhere. The only place I want to see white walls is in a hospital. Got the wrong color shirt on for this. All right, may not be your taste. Don't judge until it's done. All right, let's get busy, man. dry a little darker what he said well he told me it's gonna go on looking pink but that don't look pink to me so it's gonna dry you can still see specs so it's gonna need a second coat that's fine a gallon should cover all of this twice easy I uh, didn't I hardly took any to do this wall ah, I slipped a little bit hit the door but the door's getting painted and getting trim and all that so I don't care the only thing that doesn't is this. I don't care. That'll wear out over time. When things are plugged in, you won't see them. So I think I'm gonna like it. Just imagine this with the shiny tin roof. And I ain't telling you the color of the trim I'm using yet. It's pretty simple to figure out. There's only a few colors that would look good going with this. Uh, I don't have the trim yet, so. We're not going to do the trim to the floor and ceiling are done. I mean, that only makes sense because you got to do it onto the floor and onto the ceiling. All right, man, I'm going to get back to it. keep from painting everything else other than you know like my jeans and I leaned into that wall I'll be all right this thing's going pretty quick all right almost all both of these walls are done yes they'll need a second coat pretty easy to paint this stuff it goes on pretty good uh, I haven't figured out what I'm gonna if I'm gonna paint that yet or not I don't know if there's a code that says you gotta leave them gray but we don't have codes out here so I ain't gonna leave it gray I might put it camouflage who knows but I am not gonna paint this red this is gonna be it's gonna be a better looking color than that I'll probably paint this the same color that I'm gonna paint the trim that goes on the walls that would probably look good all right I'm get back to it
I'm gonna tell you what, I'm gonna like this. And it's gonna get darker as it dries. Uh, but it's it's pretty close right now. And I gotta get a small roller and I've got some brushes, get in these corners. But I'll tell you on this uh, on this beadboard, I mean you don't have to paint it, it's already comes painted, it's you know water resistant and all that, wipeable. But unless you've got precision tools to put it up and really take your time and get everything perfect, you know, you're going to see the seams. It doesn't matter. Because uh, I've got edges going to factory edges that you're just going to see them. But the paint, the paint seeps in there and covers all that up and you can't hardly tell. I mean, I can already see that now. Uh, that looked god awful down there. And then put a little paint on it and it just all blends in now. I like it. And I wanted a darker color because to me that's that's more uh, it's more comfortable for me you know you can come in here and I've always I got this window so if I want light and then I got the light above me which by the way I'm gonna change out that I'm not gonna use that thing I'm gonna get something a little bit nicer uh, that's like a closet light there but it worked for the time I needed it all right and you know, I'm still debating on this hot water tank. What do I do with it? The dilemma, I have no problem moving it and I could sure make something nice in this space. But God, I gotta go buy more wire, man. That stuff's expensive. And run it, I mean, it really isn't a whole lot to run it. You know, but that's gotta be pretty good, pretty good. I think that's 10-2 south wire, but actually a hot water heater, I think goes a little, little like maybe eight. I don't know, but yeah, I should be able to get away with the same thing I did on the uh, dryer. Uh, I know a stove, that's got to have the big heavy 6 gauge or 8 gauge or whatever. So anyway, I have to move it anyway. That's a given. I got to put a floor in. I'm not just going to put the floor to here and stop. It's going to get a floor. And I got to drain it anyway and put new elements. So, uh, you know, I might as well move it. And that's going to be the next day or so. I'm going to start laying this floor. Maybe, well, probably tomorrow. So I need to think on this some more. But I think this is going to come out nice. Now this is just the first coat. So let me get back to, all I got left is this wall and this little bit in here. And then we can, uh, once this dries, I can already see it drying. Once it dries, we can start on the second coat. Since I'm gonna be pulling this tank out anyway, man, it's a, it's a pain trying to get behind there. I'm skinnier, but I ain't that skinny. I'm just gonna go on and paint this wall and then go back and paint the other ones. But yeah, it's a tight squeeze back here. I can get it if I really put my mind to it, but why? I'm just gonna pull it. I'll get what I can and uh, then when uh, I go to pull that out, then we'll finish it up. Gotta pull it out, trim it, and do the floor anyway, so. And if I'm gonna move it, uh, somebody had mentioned why not move it into that little cubby hole in there where I got all the wires because it's not heated okay I'd have to I, I don't want to put this anywhere where there's cold temperatures there's no sense in that at least that dog rooms uh, a little bit heated for them so it'll stay warm in there so now it's either going here staying here or it's going uh, to the dog dog apartment now when I drain it I may move it back in there a little further because that would give me more room over here. Chances are good it's probably going to stay here but we'll see.
a little difficult up in there but i got it and when that comes out I'll, if it needs touched up which it will i'll get that then but man guys just a few days ago you know this room was horrible I had holes in the walls everywhere a big hole there big hole there big hole there big hole there and uh starting to look like a real room now it's gonna really look good with a floor and a ceiling in here so i'm gonna let this dry for a little bit i believe this first wall i painted yeah it's dry i'm gonna let it all catch up and i'm gonna hit it all again i won't film that i mean it's if you want to watch me do the second coat rewind it go back and watch me do the first coat it's the same process and i'm gonna sit down and have some lunch and let it dry a little bit and we'll get at it and that's probably i might lay some floor blah, blah, blah. might lay some floor pieces out we can get a gander at what that might look like didn't say i was gonna throw any down but we're gonna do that yeah that door sure stands out now that ain't gonna stay white i did discover when i was painting these that i forgot to go up top and tack them in up there so i'll still have to do that but I went ahead and painted them that ain't gonna hurt nothing all right man i'll be back soon i'm gonna probably start setting the floor i ordered a uh i don't know what you call them a mat that you put down for where your office chair goes somebody i'm glad somebody suggested doing that because i probably wouldn't have thought of it and ruined the floor so i did order one of them and like the desk will be here tuesday and i want to get all the, i want to have all this ready man so i can get these wires rolled up outside don't have them hanging in my way anymore it's gonna be nice all right guys thanks you for joining me and uh we'll see you tomorrow happy trails